This medicine can bring back potatoes and avocados on your table. This medicine can stop your skin from itching. And this innovation can literally give your kidneys new life. Catherine from W Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. And I'm really happy to be here today. It's not common to see three breakthroughs like this in the field of kidney health. Recently, I talked about one of the greatest innovations of our times, the bioartificial implantable kidney. And while this technological wonder will change the lives of millions of kidney disease sufferers in the future, what I want to show you today are three medical breakthroughs that are already changing the lives of people with kidney disease. And yes, I know, not all innovations are great. Oh. But trust me when I say that the three breakthroughs I'm going to show you in today's video are different. In particular, don't miss our number one. Thanks to this new medicine, people with kidney disease may be able to eat again all those high potassium foods that are usually forbidden. Bananas, potatoes, tomatoes could be back on the menu again. So don't miss it. But first, there is a huge breakthrough in stem cell therapy for kidney disease. Number three, stem cells delivery system SPI 101. Okay guys, this is really huge. In the last few years, researchers and doctors have made impressive steps forward in treating very complicated diseases using stem cells and regenerative medicine. Diseases that were incurable, such as leukemia, spinal cord injuries, and even some cancers are now being successfully treated with stem cell therapies. And today, some patients are already benefiting from stem cell therapy for kidney disease. There are clinics around the world specialized on stem cell therapy and regenerative medicine. They offer the promise to improve kidney function even in people in stage 5 after just 3 days of therapy. What they are using are mesenchymal stem cells. This is the body's natural defense against kidney damage. Found in the bone marrow, these stem cells protect the kidneys from injury and accelerate healing. Science has already identified protein candidates secreted from mesenchymal stem cells that may be administered independently via injection to aid in kidney repair. And while this treatment is already available to the public, even if expensive, it is not yet approved by the FDA. So if you are going to try it, you will have to travel. But we are very close to this being an approved therapy. In the near future, scientists from the Harvard Stem Cell Institute plan to incorporate mesenchymal stem cells into miniature dialysis machines. The idea here is to repair the kidney during this special dialysis treatment. This would, in fact, expose the patient's kidneys directly to stem cells. Now, the big news. Scientists are reporting promising results of a clinical trial designed to test a new type of treatment for people with kidney disease, released in stem cells translational medicine. The study shows how stem cells delivered using a new ex vivo drug delivery system called SBI101 can keep the stem cells viable longer and make them more effective in the kidneys. Because, as we can see here, using the state-of-the-art delivery system today, which is by infusion, the stem cells will have therapeutic activity for just about 3 hours. On the right side of the screen, using the new delivery system, the therapeutic activity is going to last much longer. What they achieve here is making the treatment way, way more powerful. And if this sounds like sci-fi, remember that the reason why everyone is so excited about stem cells is the promise to develop lab-grown replacement 
kidneys to stop chronic kidney disease for good. And you know what? They already did it. I'm talking about the artificial implantable kidney. And many people don't know it, but what the bioartificial kidney actually does is sustaining a culture of human kidney cells without provoking an immune response. This means that stem cells breakthroughs are actually making the artificial kidney possible. By the way, they already tested it. If you want to know more about the latest developments with the bioartificial kidney, I've made a video recently, it's up here, save it for later if you have missed it because now I want to show you another incredible innovation you may not know about. Patients in the advanced stages of chronic kidney disease often suffer from debilitating itching that until today had no treatment. Today things are different. There is uh, first FDA approved treatment for urine pruritus in dialysis patients. Number two is a medicine called diflexfolin, commercial name Corsuva. It was approved just one month ago, so it's really recent news. And it also means that kidney disease patients on hemodialysis who suffered the relentless itch of pruritus will finally have some relief. Corsuva is a kappa opioid receptor agonist that targets the peripheral nervous system. The drug, which is injected three times weekly, offers significant improvements in safety and effectiveness on the current available treatments. This was what the recent clinical trial proved. It's also interesting because it's the only FDA approved treatment for moderate to severe pruritus caused by kidney disease. And while this is a condition that's almost impossible to treat, this medicine seems to be working. In the clinical trial, it has shown a substantial improvement in severity of itching that lasted at least 12 weeks. However, being this a prescription drug and an opioid, it has some side effects, but it's supposed to have less side effects than traditional opioids. Now guys, there is also a home remedy that can help with pruritus. It's taking omega-3 supplements. While omega-3s can help everyone, taking them at the right dosages has even shown benefits in the treatment of uremic pruritus. I've talked more in depth about this in this video up here. Okay, time for the most incredible breakthrough. Our number one. Yes. Our number one for today can effectively protect your kidneys from high potassium levels. Number one, Lokelma, potassium binder. Potassium binders are medications taken during a meal to bind to potassium in the intestines, so the levels don't go up too much. Hyperkalemia or high potassium levels is a very dangerous condition for people suffering from kidney disease especially common in the advanced stages of CKD. Hyperkalemia can literally make your heart stop beating. And according to recent research, it is also associated with severely increased risk of kidney failure, heart attacks, and death. You won't just risk dying if your potassium levels are too high. You are also constantly damaging your kidneys. The problem is that currently used medications such as k don't work so well. Good news! There is a relatively new class of drugs that's proven to help getting potassium levels back to normal safely and effectively. This new medicine is sodium zirconium cyclosilicate, commercial name Lokelma, and is one of the few potassium binders that are safe and effective to take with antihypertensive medications. In a recent test on kidney disease patients in the advanced stages and hyperkalemia, 95% patients had normal potassium levels after taking Lokelma, most of them in just 24 hours. Which is amazing because while following a low potassium kidney friendly diet is key to manage potassium levels, it's often not enough. This is a prescription medication, okay? So if you think it can help you, consult your doctor to get it prescribed. 
but not every kidney disease patient is gonna need this prescription. Many are already using a home remedy that can effectively fight high serum potassium levels. It's baking soda. Yes, baking soda doesn't just slow down kidney disease progression, it also helps the body getting rid of excess potassium. I've talked more in depth about this in my recent video, watch it now if you want to know more. This is all for today, a new video is coming next Tuesday as usual and I really hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today, thank you for watching.